Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Obsidian Read It Later plugin. Uh, it was suggested after my last video when I looked at was it Linkorden, Wallabag, and the Obsidian Web Clipper. Suggested as a good one because it would uh, solve some of the problems I have with the Obsidian Web Clipper on the Obsidian side. So let's buckle up and take a look at the Obsidian Read Later plugin. So you can find it here on GitHub. Uh, it's called Obsidian Read It Later. Uh, it's been a, you know, it's an active development. A couple days ago, it got an update as well. Uh, and it has, one of the big things it has is specific um, content types for YouTube. Vimeo, Billy Billy, which is Chinese uh, YouTube as I understand it. Twitter, Stack Exchange, Mastodon, TikTok, website URL, and text snippet. Uh, I actually thought I saw another one. I was going through docs here, right? It has decent documentation on how it all works, how you can play with your own variables, uh, how you can do block quotes, uh, capitalize, stuff like that, right? Um right how all the variables work in here as well uh for you so and the biggest problem i had with our other um read later services but they didn't really deal with youtube well so let's look in here i'm going to hit uh control comma to bring up uh plugins right we go to community plugins if this isn't turned on then this will look a little different but you would uh come in here make sure you turn it on you browse for it and you search for read it later it's already installed you click on it and this would actually say install uh if you wanted it uh, and then you can go to your options right you can do a bunch of options so this comes uh, with its own default for where you want to put it uh, i changed it to clippings to match what uh, the obsidian um, plugin was already doing the obsidian uh, web clipper All right i moved the assets to my standard assets folder so if it downloads any images that's where it puts it and then you can change if it opens in a new workspace or it opens in a new tab you're going to batch process urls so that would let you send a file um, with a whole bunch of URLs uh, to it or a list of URLs to the plugin and it would update uh, as it went. It would it like parse through each one of them and it lets you say new line would be at one uh, the way to do it in this case, but you have other options as well. I didn't do any of that. Uh, I didn't change the date formats because I don't really care. Uh, if enabled, this we, uh, the share menu will be extended with a shortcut to create a note directly from it. All right, and you have all your templates so you can edit them as well. If you want to in here, change like your player sizes for Vimeo, for YouTube, exactly how it does all the content, right? We saw the variables earlier, uh, Twitter, Stack Exchange. Uh, if you download media attachments, download media attachments to a note directory or how you want to do it. Uh, Mastodon as well. And you can actually change a lot of these for each one, right? Download media attachments for each one. TikTok, templates, just, I don't know. There's, there's lots of them. And it says there's an advanced, but I don't actually see anything when you click on it. So let's take a look at how it works. We can come back over to, um, here you go, uh, to Zen or Firefox. And I can copy the link. So I'm using the uh, Vim keys. So double Y lets me do that. And then if I come in here, I'd hit Command or Control P, Command P on Mac. And say read it later save clipboard so i've saved that to Control shift r so i just do Control shift r you can see up here helix text editor and i could hit open helix text editor right text editor or view you can see it's actually put it right in there for me neo vim killer and it has all the information right there for me right away and that showed up in my clippings that's under h where did it go for some alphabetical stuff it should be under H. Yeah, it's under clippings. I can see it here. Clippings. Oh, it's under Y, YouTube. YouTube is the first thing there. YouTube, Helix Text Editor Review. So it brings that in nicely, uh, which is good. That's kind of one of the big problems I had with the other ones we were looking at. And we'll just grab another article. Uh, I didn't really <laughs> put a lot of thought into what we we're going to do. Hit Shift Command R again, or Shift Control R. Topic Blockers. So I can hit, oh, Topic Blockers comes in. You can see, again, I have a nice uh, reading interface here as well. But this depends a little bit on your Obsidian theme. Uh, people ask this all the time. So let's just look while I'm here. The theme I'm using is border. So it's someone who always asks us at some point later in the video, even years later, when I couldn't tell you what I was looking at. Um, so from here, like I could tag it. I could do lots of other stuff in here if I wanted to um, just make it sortable for later, right? Um, so I can even, if I come into my templates, which I should have done really, uh, we come in here and if I look at read it later, YouTube video player, I can put right video title, video URL, and I could even, or should be able to put in to watch. All right, so I would tag it as to watch. 
Uh, Vimeo, I could do the same thing. I don't really deal with Vimeo, so it wouldn't matter. Uh, is there a web? Mastodon. Text snippet. Oh, it doesn't show me a web. So I have to look into that a little bit more. But then I could say to uh, watch or to read, to summarize, and then I could come back to it later, which would make it a little easier, at least with how my vault is set up, to uh, see what's going on and make sure that I go through all the things. So probably my only issue with this overall is the lack of like an app on iOS, uh, so specifically on my iPad. Uh, often I'll be open up YouTube there. I'm going to go uh, ride my bike and I watch a YouTube video and use RUV, uh, R -U -V -Y, to ride my bike and control my trainer. And I'd love uh, just a way to easily share it of YouTube in there. It still works. If I copy the YouTube URL, paste it over into uh, Obsidian uh, with the same keyboard shortcut or similar keyboard shortcut, it works just fine. And it does actually show up exactly how I'd expect and how I want it. Pretty nice, a little easier. It's a little bit on YouTube slash iPad OS side. Um, I don't know. I don't even know I can blame the developer for not wanting to write like an iOS specific app to make this work or some other whatever browser shortcut. All the other things you got to do to jump through the hoops on iOS. So if I just, you know, use a laptop there instead uh, of my iPad for running uh, the apps, then it probably wouldn't even be an issue. That's it. If you have other options, let me know. I think Raindrop.io has been suggested as well, and I might dig into that at some point. If you like this video, this post, uh, membership, best way, curtismichael.ca slash members. Uh, take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Helps keep all this coming. Have an awesome day.